the combined winding technology Slavyanka has come a long way. The team was working on the combined winding since 1995, when the technology had been first successfully applied in practice. There were patents obtained, research conducted, and the technology was repeatedly proven to be effective in practical applications. As a result, it became obvious that the technology needed no further enhancement and research. Moreover, Dmitry Dunov had a large number of potential customers who were ready to order developing a particular electric motor. At that moment, the innovative Sander project appeared. It's an enterprise where Dmitry Dunov's team will be able to develop various electric motors and earn profit from the combined winding technology Slavyanka. Of course, creating such a business requires investments. And the first step taken in such cases is to attract a major investor who will fund such an enterprise and get a share in this business. Fortunately or unfortunately, the project's management didn't reach an agreement with major investors. And not because the latter didn't want to invest. They did. But not on the partnership terms that Dmitry Dunov would be happy with. As a rule in such investments, a large investor takes up to 90% of the entire business and the created enterprise, leaving the original founders with the role of leading developers, top management or CEO. Dmitry Dunov did not agree to accept such a deal. He was not going to sell something he had been doing for many years. He was not going to sell neither the company nor the technology. So he had to refuse such investments. There were some offers to implement the project abroad, but this idea was also abandoned for a number of ideological reasons as well as for security reasons. I would like to emphasize that Dmitry Dunov is rather an exception here. Because since the Soviet Union collapsed, more than one million of engineers, scientists and academics have left Russia alone. It's no wonder that we buy goods from Europe made using the Soviet patents. Dunov not only stayed in Russia, he also continued work on innovations in Russia and earned money from his innovations by developing the combined winding technology Slavyanka at his own expense and using his team's efforts. It was decided to attract the required funding by means of crowd investing, or the so-called crowdfunding. It is a way of attracting investments when the funds come not from one large investor, but from an unlimited number of small and medium-scale investors. This means that absolutely everyone can take part in this investment project by investing the amount of money you have at your disposal and become a co-owner of the innovative business that is being created right in front of your eyes. If you are interested in learning more about the Sovelmash Innovative Center, the project doing of Smarters and the combined winding technology, visit our official website. The link is provided below this video. And also subscribe to our channel not to miss the next videos.